video is about banana fusarium wilt disease caused by the soil-borne fungus. We will cover identification, transmission, and prevention. How you identify fusarium in the field. The fusarium infected plants can be characterized by the following symptoms. Fusarium causes the oldest leaves to become yellow, spreading from the leaf margins. It also causes the leaves to collapse at the petioles, giving the infected plant a skirt appearance. Fusarium also causes stunted growth and failure to flower in young plants. In flowered plants, fusarium causes fruit filling failure. When cut internally, the comb, pseudostem, and fruit stalk there is tissue discoloration from pale to dark red. In some cases, fusarium wilt causes longitudinal pseudostem splitting at the base of the infected plant. For susceptible cultivars, the fusarium wilt causes varying yield losses of up to 100%. Examples of susceptible beer cultivars include exotic bananas like pisanga wak, also known as kainja. Whereas for desert bananas, examples are Gros Michel, Apple Banana, also known as Sukari Ndizi. How does transmission occur? Fusarium wilt is mainly spread through suckers of susceptible cultivars derived from infected soils. Fusarium wilt can also be transmitted by movement of soil from one infected area on hose and shoes. Fusarium infection can also occur when susceptible clean planting materials are planted into infected soils. Ways of prevention. This is achieved through use of clean planting materials and use of resistant varieties. As the disease can survive in the soil for over 30 years, it is vital that farmers substitute susceptible cultivars with resistant varieties. For exotic beer bananas, FIA 25, Kilometer 5, and East African Highland beer banana can be used, while for desert bananas, Cavendish and FIA 17 can be used as substitutes. Other crops like cassava, maize, and others can be planted in the same soils without a problem. Use clean suckers from clean fields, and if available, use tissue culture plants. Avoid banana planting materials from infected fields even when the suckers look clean as chances are high that they might have the disease. Please note, clean planting materials will not be a solution if the soils are already infected. In places where there is already fusarium problem, the solution is getting clean planting materials that are resistant or tolerant to fusarium. We have in this video covered symptoms of fusarium wilt which include yellowing of oldest leaves, collapsed leaves at petioles, dwarfed plants, vascular discoloration, and pseudostem splitting at the base of the plant. We've also covered roots of transmission which are use of infected conventional planting materials and movement of soil on hose or shoes. Prevention measures have also been looked at and they are mainly using resistant plants as well as clean planting materials.